In today's video, we're gonna walk around the garden. Here we go. All right, you all, here's the porch. I thought we'd start here. I did show this last week, or I guess it was on Monday when I posted my uh, clean and decorate the porch with me. So here's what it's looking like. The plants that I planted are already growing. We had a ton of rain again. So things are looking great here on the porch. The verbena bloomed. This is the one that the bunnies ate. So that came back nicely. We've got some of the dahlias finished, but we've got new ones blooming. Nothing much going on with the dragon wing begonias, but that's fine. Or angel wing, I don't know. I hear different names for it. More of the verbena looking great. The lobe Ooh, lobelia is looking great. I never have a lot of luck with this, but I thought I'd give it one more try this year. And it's doing well so far. That's a project I'm going to be working on this weekend. More lobelia. I did notice the beetles had gotten into this plant because we were keeping this light on at night. So we decided, ah, we're not going to do that because it's killing my plants. Here's the deck box. Here it is from the other side. The petunias are starting to bloom. Looking great. I did find, this is a little, uh, I don't really know the real name. Chris, call, I think it's Creeping Jenny. Chris calls it Creepy Jenny. Sorry it's so windy. But I found a little one that had planted itself in my garden. So I just dug it up and put it here. Apparently they are perennial here in Minnesota. Who knew? You didn't get to see this. I don't think uh, I did this after I filmed that video. But these are just two Texas Star bookends that I had picked up at a yard sale. And... Haven't been using them inside, so I decided to use them here as like a little plant stand. And these are more plants that I got this week to go in various areas. Here's a new bed that I put in this week. Just to give a little more of a finished look to this side of the driveway. We are gonna paint our house. We're testing out some colors. I'm gonna be planting in these two pots. You can see I filled this one with some of my leftover pots to take up some of the volume that one i'm going to raise up on a plant stand i just have to fetch it out of the shed so this is some kind of daisy this is the silver mounds and this is a dianthus i picked all these because the bunnies don't seem to bother them around here so that's freshly put in and our dogwoods bloomed and then finished since the last time i showed them to you the tree is done blooming. I posted a picture of it last week. It was gorgeous. I'll try to insert a photo here in case you missed it. And so this is what's left and now the little fruits will form. These pots are doing really well. I told you I just kept it simple this year and just did all wave petunias just to keep it easy. My hanging pot here is so gorgeous. Like it's looking so gorgeous. I love it. Put a little lattice work here just to hide the under the steps area. We're gonna paint all of the deck and the lattice work this summer. I am going to move one of my lilies. They're kind of taking over the garden and I need a place to put my irises that the bunnies are devouring out front so I'm going to put them in here and I'm going to move this to the front one of these to the front my husband fixed the bunny fence you can see how windy it is look how fast that's spinning he fixed the bunny fence so everything's coming back including the asters which had been obliterated by the bunnies And I was wrong. This is not creeping phlox. This is a dianthus. I completely forgot what I had here. I did have creeping phlox out front, but it really didn't come back for me this year. This is still needing attention. I'm getting to it. On the agenda for this evening, I'm going to be putting in the rest of my veggies. This is my little look. You can see I did a DIY of this on my other channel. And they're already starting to fill in. This is gonna be gorgeous. 
once it really starts to grow over the sides. And this was free from Facebook Marketplace. This chandelier was free. Our lilacs are finally blooming after everyone else's. They smell gorgeous. I wish you could smell them through my camera. They smell delicious. This one did not get any buds this year. This is the one that got decimated by the deer. So I'm gonna put burlap over them next year. Someone recommended that. I'm gonna try that and see if we can maybe have some blooms next year. So we planted these, not last spring, but the spring before. Had them last spring and then this is our second spring with them. This is exciting. I have never gotten strawberries on my strawberry plants. Have tons of blooms. So now I've covered them with a little bit of chicken wire to prevent the birds from getting at the berries. Hopefully that will work. I think it will. And then I usually plant zinnias here see, from seed, but I'm a little behind. So I bought some starts at the garden center today. And I'm also going to put in some seeds, but at least I'll have some flowers going already. That is my zucchini, just one in my pot. And then I have a cucumber plant and two tomato plants to do. And that's kind of all I'm doing in the garden this year. I might do some lettuce actually. I usually do a lettuce border kind of around the wood thingies. I just haven't gotten around to it. It might be a little late for it now, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Front, my hydrangeas looking great. Need to do a little weeding here and rake up the mulch, maybe add a little fresh mulch. I can't remember if I put mulch in here last season or if this is two years old. I don't remember, but it could use some freshening. And this is where my creeping phlox is. That's all that's left of it. I don't know why. And that hydrangea is looking good. This is the iris that I'm going to move because the bunnies keep eating it. And I got a fountain pasta. I forget the variety I'll show you next week to put in the center there just to have something. It's like a 30 inch high one. So it'll give it a little height in the center of the garden there. I really wanted a big patch of irises, but apparently that's not going to be possible with the bunnies. And that brings us back to the front. That is the garden this week. I hope you've enjoyed seeing the progress and I will see you on Monday for Monday Motivations. Until my next video, thanks for watching.